Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Have you thought about subscribing? It costs no money. While you're at it, might as well hit that like button and... I don't know, ring the bell? It's up to you, really. I'm not telling you to do anything. I would never do that. Anyway, enjoy the video. In this video, I'm doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. If you don't know what a Pokemon Nuzlocke is, it's basically a set of rules that each player must follow. The rules are, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead, and must be released or put in Pokemon storage system permanently. The player may only catch the first wild Pokemon encountered on each route. The player must nickname all of their Pokemon for the sake of forming a stronger emotional bond, and the player may only use Pokemon they have captured themselves, meaning Pokemon acquired through trading, mystery gifts, and etc. are prohibited. The player may not voluntarily reset or reload the game whenever things go wrong. Hello, welcome, welcome to Pokemon Platinum. If you're wondering why I sound so tired, it's because I've recorded this video 76 something times. My recording software And, um,. Yeah. Uh, so we're just gonna get into it. Alright, this is a Pokemon Nuzlocke, so it's not like a normal Pokemon playthrough. Uh, I'm not gonna be reading the text or the story, so if you came here for story, go away. This is where you're supposed to be. You're lost. Uh, if you came here for gameplay, then you're in the right place, but... I haven't had gameplay for like the past hour, so it's been pretty fun and exciting over here. The recording. Oh, yeah. I can't I cannot tell you how long. I've been trying to get this video out for it. I had it recorded once. I did it first try. The volume was too loud. So I go in. The adjustment I made did not actually affect the recording. Then I finally found one that uh, could, had adjust the recording. It is correct. All right. So I will be skipping a lot of the useless dialogue. Uh. But we're doing a Pokemon Nuzlocke. Now. I am not going to be really focusing on uh, the story, as I've said. Uh, and also, most Nuzlockers do where if they don't get, if they don't have Pokeballs, a death doesn't count. Or at least until they get their first Pokeballs, the death doesn't count. Death? doesn't count. Um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do if you die, you die. Game over. Now hopefully that doesn't happen, because I can totally expect that to happen at this point. I'm gonna lose in the wild Pokemon battle or something before I can even get to the first Pokemon Center. Say I enjoyed that. Also, we should not go into the tall grass. Mom says so. If mom says it, it's gotta be true. Can't do that. Alright, let's go to berries and bump into a 
Alright, and now we have to go to all grass and get up here. And not lose to Barry, because that would stink if we lost right now. Because then how on Just how on earth. I'm not gonna say anything else, because it's just how on earth, but Yeah. in case we like speed up. Are the three starter choices. There are three. There's Turtwig, which is probably my favorite. Uh, there is Chimchar, which is the most powerful. And then there's Piplup, which has an overpowered type matchup, but not very good for this game for some reason. He ends up becoming a water steel type. And uh, steel is very weak to grass. Or not grass, fire. But water is very resistant to fire. So it's very useful to have somebody who's only effective against fire in a steel tank. Steel is overpowered, as I said. Now, I'm trying to remember what steel's other type of is. I'm pretty sure that Pip Piplup's evolution is not weak to any Anyway, we are going to be going with Chimchar, because he's a fire fighter. Now, fighting is good against rock, and the first gym is a rock gym. Fi fire is good against bug, and the second gym is a bug gym. I'm pretty sure it's a bug gym. It might be a grass gym. It has like a ladybug logo. I'm pretty sure. I'm thinking of it. Maybe thinking of it. Come on! I don't know. I have only played half this game, and that was years ago. Yes, I've seen some playthroughs of it. But that's about the extent of my knowledge, and I figured, yeah, it's a good idea for me to play this one first. Yeah, genius. It's also the most like an unusual game. Oh, I thought he just glitched for a second there. <sighs> I was about to have a heart attack. Here we go, Here we go. Battle one. Not a battle. See? Pokemon teeth, you guys. Always hold up, you actually get the level. Yeah. 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 Alright, now we have to head home, rest, finally get some shoes on. Uh, then we can go get Pokeballs. Well, name our Pokemon and then get Pokeballs after the longest cutscene I think ever. Which I will skip for you guys. Speaking of skippable cutscenes... God. Early on, 
in these games can be so slow. Don't even get me started on playing Sun and Moon, though, because that's just uh, that slow. If you want to see something slow, they can go that route. I just realized his running animation is just his walking animation sped up. That's funny. See, in Diamond, this is where you get your starter. Um, just they get attacked. The um, professor, Don Lucas, depending on who you're playing as, will uh, forget their luggage in the suitcase. Then you'll walk up to the suitcase, the Pokemon there, then you'll get attacked by some pigeons, and kill the pigeons. Very, very fun. Alright, let's finally get a Pokemon. Oh, we don't get to get a Pokemon yet, right? Because we have to get Pokeballs first. Thanks, This is... Very creative nickname. Look at that, that's... that's just... Really, dude. I swear, this guy's just trying to make me mad. Let's just get one more battle. our Pokemon, please. That'd be very nice. I like that. Alright. Monkey. See, it's fun, because it's spelled wrong. Isn't that funny? Anyway. I don't know why I wanted to do that, but... You know? Always know what these things. Who's excited? We now have a very, very chunky man. Very chunky. This chunky rat is actually a very popular Pokemon for some reason. Uh, we are going to name him. Something that strikes fear into his enemies that we'll never see. Deadly is the puppy. Bet you never saw that sentence coming out of anybody's mouth before. Uh, let's get our other Pokemon and then we'll head to Mall. Very like friend. Very nice. Most people, if they're doing the most like save this one, but. Because you are level 3. I'll get the experience. There we go, level 
three starling. Uh, so I'm not gonna keep in all the footage from that. Because that was over 10 minutes of looking for a starling. me. I thought I had to. Oh, right. Okay. I didn't know she killed you first. Did they just munch on your toes? Like, I would definitely be skipping the grass every time you go in there. Something lunges at itself at you. Or is it like, is it like a Bidoof? Does it just nibble on your toe? Whereas if it's like a freaking... I tried to explain it, but now I've just lost my mind. And now we're gonna learn how to throw a Pokeball. This is very, very exciting stuff. Not just if you get the five. Good. Seven DB. <laughs> Couldn't catch a level four Shinx at less than half HP. It's like, ooh. Can't believe I nearly killed him. Ah, uh, let's get the move. We have to. This is part of the rules. Probably don't agree, but that's just the nature of the world. Not. Let's get him to level eight, and then we'll end it. And there we go, level eight.
point I generally like to get to before the end of the first episode. 